Good evening, everybody. Gal Moore here, and uh, today we're going to look at part three, or we're going to do quest three of season two for the living story of Guild Wars 2. Yes. And um, I went through part one and part two, the last two videos I did, and the audio was terrible. So I turned down the volume for just about everything on this game except for the audio. So hopefully, what is this? Uh, no, I don't want support. But let's let's check here. Audio. Yes, I turned it down. So hopefully you can uh, you can hear me a little bit more because uh, going through those videos and I was like, oh my god, I you can't hear me. But it's okay because uh, we're about to start this one. And I did a little of the map. This is all that I you could know, actually I caught get that to, crazy which is very once. kind of She's depressing. Not so fast. It's such a small map compared <laughs> oh, to everything really? else. But I really do hope it opens up as we go through the qu the quest for the new event and we're going to start three here once i get to this guy where wherever he is where where are you where are you at dude oh yeah there's a dead body here i guess we should do talk to this guy he says this merchant has a single stab wound in his chest that looks just like the one on the Zephyrite you know found at the crash site. Alright, so we did that. And now it's telling us to go over yonder. So let's check out this place. And hopefully it's going to lead to a good quest because, you know, I'm back from work and I've, I actually got time to play. So, yeah. We're going to go up here and talk to this guy in the mine shaft. She says, listen, I don't want any trouble. I saw what happened to that merchant. You're talking about the dead merchant we found in town, aren't you? Yes, I was there when he sold supplies to one of those Zephyrites. And not an hour later, he turns up dead. Killed just for crossing paths with that man. And let's see here. Please, we're trying to find that Zephyrite before the merchant before the merchant's killer can catch up with him. Yeah, he sh Yeah, he sure was in a hurry to get himself out of town. It looked like the Zephyrite was heading west out towards... What does that say? Bourbon Canyon? It sounds like he was fleeing into the canyon. Thank you. Alright, so now we gotta look for clues near that canyon. Hopefully, it's, uh, I don't have to use any of those crystals to get there. I'm sure I will. Those things are kind of annoying after a while, especially they don't last very long in this map compared to the other one. Okay, so where are we going here? Okay, close. Okay. Gotta use this, go through the quicksand here, man. These thing, this quicksand is killer. Get up. We didn't come ready for this kind of mission. <sighs> no, and there are more coming in all the time. Just hope they can keep the way clear back to Tangle Ridge so we can get resupplied. As we approach the battlegrounds, we've stopped converging about We're anything okay. non sensual, non -sensual to our survival. Just as we arrived in this area? Stop it. Hmm. You're all the way over there. I can hear you. The timing was strangely, strangely quiet. Sorry. Well, yeah, uh, you, you can read that it's because missed. they're being rude. Are you done? Alright, so the words have mostly faded from exposure, but angrily scrolled. It happened and so fast. There was really? a flash, and then the I'm talking world here. turned sideways. Everyone was falling. Right, well, whatever. I These people are being rude. So we're going to go over here. I woke here. Instead, you're fortunate. Now, I didn't turn down the dialogue because just in case there was a, a, a video or some important stuff we wanted to listen to during the quest, but those people are just being rude. Just straight up rude. I can knock back a tornado, but I cannot knock, knock back you. Get out of here. Oh, I don't want my... My axes go away. 
Okay, there we go. An air of solmenti. I can't say that word. Rises from the sand and waves like the shimmer of heat, making it difficult to breathe. This is where Destiny's Edge confronted the Crystal Dragon and where our protector died defending us from the Elder Kin. From, from her Elder Kin, pardon me. I imagine I can see the crystalline remains of her corpse from here. Okay, so we need to grab this guy. Do some, some high jumping. There we go. No, hit find the return. Right. Bad Drake. Oh, crap. Now I got. Are you coming up here or what? Kind of makes me feel bad though. I had to turn all the sound effects off. I like the sound of sound effects for this game and the music. It's just, I don't know. I just have a terrible voice for this, so, uh, and I have a low, deep voice. It's kind of creepy. It scares everybody at work. Let's see. They forged an alliance with her and let her into their minds. They guarded her legacy for as long as they could, but sadly, their race was not to live forever. Destiny decided otherwise, and thus the torch was passed to my ancestors. We hid ourselves away from hundreds of years, for hundreds of years, helping her as we could, as we could, and keeping her secret, secrets. Nah, I suck at reading. Dragons consume magic, but they do not destroy it. They hold it within themselves like a sponge holds water. I only hope we're faster than the scavengers and power mongers who would use her body to ad to advance. Now, which dragon? Are they talking about the dragon from Guild Wars 1? Are they? I I'm kind of lost. That was the quest. That was... Wait, what? That was it? I mean, I thought it was going to be a legit quest. This was just some, like, scavenger hunt phones. Really? Oh, my God. All right, I guess... Uh, you can never a, have too much treasure. Short video. I got a lot of experience. Ooh, I'm already level 80. Hit it, like, a thousand times already. Um, let's see here. What did we get? Garbage. Trophy. Garbage. Garbage. Dusty bag of loot. Is that a good thing? I mean, I mean, it gave me a, a garbage spear, opal crystal. Oh yeah. Get out of here, Drake. I got stuff to do. And we got a heirloom seed pouch. That I'm looks valuable. That. You know, for a seed pouch, I mean, bones. It's got a curious and okay, that makes sense. But bones, really, in a seed pouch? Get out of here. All right. Well, I, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, that was quick and amazing. And wait, I think that's the next one. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right here, and then uh, you start the next video. It'll be right there. So uh, yeah, I appreciate this view. And uh, yeah, like I said in the other two. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Comment because you know me. I love criticism. I'm, I'm I suck it up. It's like I'm a sponge. I suck it up like sponge sucks up water. Just like that craziness just said. All right, um, you guys have a good one and peace.